have Peach, Mario, and the hatred of mine, Wario, and some of the people who... The person who's awesome. So yeah, you get to pick your difficulty. And, uh, easy, normal, hard. I just do normal because, yeah, it's hard is super easy. So you can pick your turn amount. I'm just going to do 20 because that's, even that's like an hour long. In this game, you can actually set if you want bonus stars. At the end, you get, if, at the end of each game, you get stars for certain things you do. But you can turn that off in this game. But I'm going to keep it on because bonuses are awesome. You can really get some pet room in the game. Okay, let's go! Get some water here and drink. Heartland, here we go. Okay, so... We go, and this is the only Mario Party where all the characters actually dress up for each board. And, as you can see in a minute, so does Bowser. Uh, so, by the way, basically the story for each board is that, uh, like, Bowser's doing something, or the story for this game is that Bowser's doing bad in this, doing so bad in this place they all the characters make called Mario Land. And, whoever, uh, What am I saying? Whoever is gonna stop out is gonna be the. Who's gonna, they're gonna name the park after. Which, in storyline, is gonna be Mario, obviously, but. Yeah. It might be some other characters. So basically, if you don't know how Mario Party works, uh. Basically, there's a star, and every, uh. Like, a star will appear around this board. Like, a kind of like. It's basically a board game with fun in it. But it has two times the luck, so yeah. Basically, you roll a die, and that's Peach's second ten in a row. And basically, you can land on spaces like she landed on blue space, and she got three coins for that. So I want to look at the map by pressing R. Blue spaces, they give you three coins. Red spaces, you lose three. Now this one's a new one, the, the item space. You can actually get items in this game and use them before your turn it starts. And but this you can play a little mini game to get an item, so that'd be that's cool. And this is actually new to Mario Party 2, and it's actually brought back in Mario Party 3, but never really brought back except for the form of the capsules of Mario Party 5 and 6 and uh, that one board in Mario Party 4. But yeah, basically if you pass this space, you have to pick up a five coins. And whoever if you don't have any if you don't have enough coins, he just takes the remaining coins. And yeah. But if someone lands on the bank space, they get all the coins that have been taken. So if three people pass it, it has 15 coins, and one place a person lands on it, they get 15 coins, and then the thing starts over again. So the bank can be kind of annoying, but it's a pretty cool feature. Um, here's Bowser. Bowser will do some bad things around the board. Basically, what he always does is bad things. And here's the item shop. You can pay coins to get items. Which is uh, a nice feature. You don't have to get them by landing on the right space. Here's a door. A door? What's that? Well, let the wise Samuel tell us what the door is, shall we? Uh, yeah, basically the door, one of the items allows you to open these doors. Oh, I'm gonna have a map. I don't want that map. So that the door can only be opened by a certain item, which I'll explain later. And here's the question mark space, basically one of the main features of Mario Party. Uh, if you land on a question mark space, nothing specific happens. It can be random thing. Well, not not random, but for each board and each space, it will be different. Like the ones on these bridges, the pirate will fire at you and it will be sent back to start. But some of the times, in boards, there will be multiple happening spaces that do different things. Like, these ones do the same thing. But, like, some there might be a happening space somewhere else that will do something different. But not in this board. I think, like, there's only one board that does that or something. I don't know. It's been a lot since I played this game. Why am I talking so fast? Okay, over here is chance time. Chance time! Yeah, I'll get into that later. Uh, chance time, basically, when you, uh, land on it, people can, uh, 
lose coins, or but people can give stars or coins to each other. Why haven't I, I haven't mentioned this yet? Uh, the star, is, if you pay 20 coins at the star, you pass it, and you if you pay 20 coins, you can get the star. And whoever has the most stars at the end wins, and if you're tied, it goes by coins. So yeah, that's what Chance Time does. You can trade stones, you randomly trade coins or stars with each other, but you can't time it. It's like a like a roulette like slot or something. You get blocks. And then this space, this is actually one of the weirdest spaces, the battle game space. You play a four-player minigame where everyone gives a certain amount of coins in, and whoever wins gets most of the coins back, and uh, second place gets basically what he spent back in... He, First place gets like the two losers coins, and third pl or second place basically gets the you know the, what he spent back or what he donated, but a little more. And the other players just get nothing. So that's basically all the spaces. The arrows are obviously intersections. So yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, up here, this is a new feature, which is basically only in this game. Baby Bowser. He'll uh, take five coins from you, and every time you hit the star, um, he'll go in the star space. It's so, like, unless someone gets the star, it will move, and Baby Bowser will take its spot. But, uh, yeah, some, uh, of course in the first time, he's just random. But, uh, uh, sometimes it actually gives you coins, which is kind of weird. And, uh, yeah, and over here, we have a feature that's in basically every Mario Party game, but it's kind of been taken out recently. Boo! You can pay him coins to uh, steal st stars or coins from other opponents, but you usually get your coins back unless the computers somehow match the button like 30 times a second and completely cheat. That's basically all the spaces. Um, and after, by the way, after everyone takes their turn, that or after whenever everyone moves, that's a turn. So that everyone moves 20 times unless you get a mushroom. And, uh, so you, and after everyone goes, you can play a minigame, and depending on what color space you land on, like red or blue, you play a different minigame. So if two, two people land on blue and two people land on red, it'll be a two versus two. And if one person lands on red and three people land on blue, then it'll be a one versus three. And if uh, all players land on blue, then it's a four-player minigame. And the green spaces randomly change into either blue or red. So that's basically that. Um, this was just kind of an uh, introduction video and explanation of some of the things. So in the next video, we're going to start on the game by taking our turn. Well, we kind of already started in the game, but we're going to expand on that start and turn it into a finish. So I'll see you guys for that later.